Drop it, drop it, drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just been living off of the bankroll. Had a saying go, got it flooded to my ankles. Need a raincoat, pair of boots, and a dang boat. What is going on, G5 Rebels? And welcome back to another, you know, daily update. I'm Air, and we're up. I mean, we're in the green. We're starting to retrace a little bit, though. We'll get into the charts today. Not much news to report on today. Nothing significant, anyways. Just a lot of rumors, conjecture speculation which i don't really like to cover boring snooze fest right you know bitcoin could go up bitcoin could go down you know cardano's this you know whatever boring so we're gonna look at some altcoins we're gonna look at some charts as you can see we're pretty much up across the board like i mentioned five seconds ago but i want to specifically focus on alts today yeah we're gonna chart bitcoin quickly we're gonna look at it what it's doing and Boy, the bag's under my eyes. I was up to like two o'clock in the morning watching hockey, believe it or not. Wild went into double overtime for any hockey fans, any playoff fans versus Dallas and squeaked out the win. But uh, let's get into it. Let's look at it. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. Appreciate you guys. Got a couple things I want to show you. Some things we've covered in the past, but I want to kind of cement it and show you guys some potential gems for this next bull market. Let's get into it. Let's dissect Bitcoin real quick, get this out of the way. This videos take me an hour or two, so we'll probably revisit this if something kind of shakes off from my initial impression here. But what happened this morning? I'm in the gym getting my pump on, right? I see six o'clock, seven o'clock, 6.30ish in the morning, we get that pump up, right? What happens then? I see we're in the discount zone, which is a Lex Algal indicator, just representing sell pressure, right? We are in the reversal zone as well here, this thick red band going up. So typically when you hit that, especially on these bigger time frames, like 30 minute pluses, you get a little sideways chop or a little bit of a retracement. But on top of that, we hit this fair value gap too with another Lux Algal indicator. I'm telling you, get Lux Algal, save up for it. It's going to change your trading. It's going to change your game big time. So many indicators in one. Uh, but anyways, I said to myself, we're probably going to retrace this, but we could also break to the upside, right? We could also, this could be considered a bull flag, at least to get up to about the fourth maybe fifth middle of the fifth candle here. Uh, but my gut feeling told me we're probably retracing this a little bit. Maybe not all the way, but maybe. Maybe we come back down to 30,000, tap it, you know, check it out. Uh, but that's where we're at. That's what I saw. I was in an initial long short this morning, I should say, when we were up around here. Uh, we had a little bit of a, a wick up that kind of wicked me out. Wasn't able to babysit it, getting the kids ready for school, all that fun stuff. Lost it 5%. Now I'm back in another short and I'm up. I've made more money now. I'm made my money back plus some but i did take an l this morning so it hurts my win percentage but what can you do typically when you can't babysit trades man weird stuff can happen like that if i was able to babysit it i would still be in that initial trade because i would have moved my stop loss up just a hair because i mean it literally just just licked it but anyways that's it that's what i'm seeing on bitcoin on cypher b on a 30 minute you can see we got that red dot print at eight o'clock this morning when we started kind of turning around a little bit retracing money flow was up through the pump you know, six, seven, eight this morning. And then we're kind of falling out a little bit. VWAP is down, meaning people are finding value in areas below us. You can see, we talked about this yesterday and getting that pump, right? This morning and through through last night, really. You can see that the RSI crossed above the stochastics, turning the stochastics white, which is a bullish signal. Um, every time that happens, you know, just about like 95% of the time we get a pump to the upside. You can see here we have repegged. So the stoke has kind of, gotten into bed with the uh, RSI here, turning it back to its normal gray color. So a little bit of downward momentum on the 30 minute. Anything can happen. This can change on a dime. You guys all know that. So we'll continue to watch it. So I'm going to show you guys some stuff on altcoins now and a couple meme coins, which are trending on Twitter. I don't, you know me, I don't usually F with meme coins, right? Um, but there's occasions where I like to gamble a little bit. I mean, I, you know, live 10 minutes away from a casino. I go there once a month and throw a couple hundred bucks at the machines or at the tables, right? Just for fun, you know, a couple hundred bucks. I'm okay with losing it if I lose it, you know, for the entertainment value of it. So let's look at the total market cap, excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum. So this is total three on the side over here. You can see we are up. You can add this to your chart just by typing in total three. You can do total two, which is just minus Bitcoin and total, which is the total market cap as well. So I know I've talked about this in the past, but I wanna restress this and, and sh get this on your radar before we start digging into some alts into some speculative plays for this bull market. So 
descending wedge pattern they almost always break they, they always break to the upside let's face it if it didn't then we're never going up again so the measured move to get an accurate move from this you just take this right we'll kind of mess that up a little bit so we'll take that this is the flag pole you take that you move it to the where the breakout point is and typically speaking with with strong certainty we're going you know we're going to crack that one trillion dollar market cap again pretty quickly so alt season is upon us we have broken out so if we zoom in you can see we have broken outside of this strong resistance line which you know dates all the way back to the top of the market november you know ish november 2021 and you've just been a bleed out since, right? Big old bear market bleed on altcoins. And you can see we've breaking this trend line. So on top of that, what else have we done, which kind of signifies, you know, we're getting there. So a couple things. So the 50 and the 21 MA we have crossed, which kind of got us the momentum to propel us through this trend line. You know, we crossed over the, <clears throat> The, the 200 and stuff a couple times here you know we lost it you know ftx crawled back and now here we are in, in, into today so a couple things just showing me there that we're looking like and here's the other thing so if we go down to cypher b what happened you know we're losing a little bit because we're getting a little bit of a downturn today but you did see that little pump up that got us up which was the stochastics turning bullish turning white here where the rsi crosses over the stochastics and what happened we got that pump that broke us through that trend line so that's why it's important to watch this stuff um, i'm not sure if vmc cypher b which is a free version of cypher b does this uh, i also know it's not as accurate but it's pretty damn close it's a, it's i used it at first so i'm telling you to use it at first until you can afford to buy the actual cypher b like VMC Cypher B hasn't been updated in like a decade or something like that. Seven, eight years. I can't recall, but still solid. Still solid. Just doesn't get updates and support like these paid indicators do. Uh, and they don't get added to like these paid indicators do. The, the algorithms don't get tweaked, right? So this is it. I'm not going to drag this on. Bullish on altcoins. We're going to get an alt season at some point. Just a matter of when. Probably if I had to guess 35,000, 40,000 Bitcoin is we're going to start to see retail FOMO in. And I don't mean retail like me and you. I mean retail like people who don't have crypto on the radar right now, right? People who probably lost it in the last bull market, a bear market. You know, they bought the top and then it kind of tanks. So you're going to start seeing those people come back. You're going to start seeing this just skyrocket up. And just to toss some further confluence onto it. So no matter how you draw this, I mean, whatever whatever way you draw this, Bitcoin's in a... a like a rocket ship of a rising wedge right on the bitcoin dominance so this is bitcoin market cap dominance you know compared to altcoins right now descending wedge total three market cap altcoins rising wedge bitcoin so it would make sense that these are going to play out how they play out to where eventually you know that alt season kicks off we're going to see bitcoin retrace this channel as the dominance comes down right you're going to start seeing bitcoin fall as all coins get a pump this is dominance i don't mean the price of bitcoin i just mean the dominance the market cap you're going to start seeing market cap on alts go up as money flows into alts you're going to start seeing bitcoin um lose its dominance right it's going to still have a strong market cap bitcoin's still going to go up but we just know bitcoin has been outperforming alts right um you know you could even take a look at this i mean just Boom, look at this strong support resistance here. Weren't able to crack it, got rejected off of it again. I mean, here's a strong tradable channel. You don't trade Bitcoin dominance, but it's bouncing around in this channel. So this sucker is gonna probably come back down to the bottom of the channel. Maybe we lose it, come down even more. We'll have to watch and see, but just further confluence of an alt season is upon us. And as I mentioned in my TA series, my how to TA series, one of the good, a good trading strategy for altcoins is to see what pumped over the last 24 hours if we're dumping today see what pumped yesterday see what pumped the day before because typically they're going to retrace those pumps not always on those small market cap coins but you know the rank 250 to one you, you can pretty much assume that if one coin pumped 20 percent yesterday and today bitcoin's down three percent probably going to retrace that so those would be good coins to look forward to short now you got to do your due diligence and you got to go through 
your process, see if there was some news or something that popped off. You got to rule some things out, right? You got to, you got to do your proper TA on those coins. But uh, I mean, here's altcoins. This is just into the block. You can do it on crypto market cap too. Into the block is paid. Uh, you can just sort by price change over 24 hours. You can look at what, uh, what went down, what went up, you know, you got, you know, lots of minus a hundred percent. And then you also have, so you can find both. You can find what were the big gainers and what were the big losers from the day before and play those. But typically some of these you can't even trade futures on because they're so small, small market cap, but usually like to kind of scroll down to the 20, uh, 20 ish percent losers or gainers. And just kind of look there and see what I have, what I see Gala Games up 12% yesterday, uh, Hoge Finance, Ecolink, KuCoin's token was up 20% yesterday. I bet you that has retraced at some today. So just to show you, let's pull up KuCoin's token here, KCS in crypto, KuCoin. I get rid of into the block here, KuCoin USDT on KuCoin. And look at that, right? This is, this is what happened. So let's take a look, measured move here. So far it is down 1.34%, possibility of coming down another 1%, right? But it was up even higher. So if you would have gotten it from the high, so this was yesterday's high, this was actually Sunday's high, right? And we got the bullish signals on Saturday. Started getting bullish signals on Saturday, like we talked about in yesterday's video. So just to kind of prove my point here, down 2.45%, 10, 11, 12 ish percent on a five times leverage, right? So this is another strategy. Granted, I just, that's just one I saw. I haven't done any proper TA, any due diligence, anything like that. I'm just kind of proving a point. And it looks like it worked out. So just one strategy, but now we're going to kind of dive into some altcoins, kind of look at some winners, some losers and go from there. And like, this is easy. You can start charting things. You start finding your resistance, your trend lines, your support, right? Solana, for example, you got your resistance up top, your support on the bottom. You can see we're in a descending wedge. You can see a very tradable channel here. You can see we broke up to the upside, just about the same exact spot. We broke up to the upside on a total three market cap. So. How do you take your measure move, right? Something like that to the upside. You're looking at a $55 Solana. You're looking at double in your money. If you can catch your long or just a spot play, you don't need to, you know, go crazy here. You don't have to be in a leverage play. You can just buy an altcoin, add to your hodl bags. But we're going to get up to this initial fall we had in May of 2022, which kind of has just been on a downward trend since, like much of the market, right? You have your FTX fallout here. So it hasn't really pumped up like some of these other coins have. Um, I guess there's 10,000 altcoins. That's a stupid statement to make. But anyways, you get the picture here. I mean, we're looking at, again, 176, 160% run up on Solana here. And it's that simple, guys. It's about finding coins that have legs, that have moves. This is a daily chart, right? We're getting the breakout. It's starting to be alt season. Um, is Bitcoin going to run up 166%? Let's take a look at what Bitcoin would need to be at to run up 166%, right? So if we just do a measure move. So if let's do this. What does Bitcoin need to get to? to be at its all time high. So if we take the measure move from here, we go up to the high 128%. So this is what I'm saying. We're gonna hit that all season. We're also gonna start outperforming Bitcoin. Um, you know, we're gonna get, uh, Solana's gonna get to 170% before Bitcoin gets 128%. It should, unless Bitcoin dominance just keeps rising, but Sol is one and they're eager, man. These VCs, I'm telling you right now, they're eager to start making their money back. And for Soul to get to make a, a new all time high, 12, 1200%, 1217% to, to make a new all time high or tie the previous all time high, right? So Soul has a lot of room to make up. And if you look, if we turn back on the charts, there's like no volume up here, right? I mean, the volume that we've created down here. You can see here, 
but there is just nothing here. So soul is going to run. Don't count these VCs out. You can see the steps we're going to take to get there. The levels, this is Lex Algo indicator, right? You see that you know, many below us right up to 40, 44, which in the short term, that's where we're going to be at, but a hundred, 150, 200, 240 to the top. So souls one again, I'm not marrying bags. You shouldn't marry bags. The, the guys who get so amped up about their coin, their ecosystem, and that's the only one are the ones that fail. They're the, the ones that aren't going to make it unless they just get lucky. And let's face it. Most of us don't get that lucky, right? Don't marry your, your, your coins, marry the bag. We're in this to make money. I'm in this to make money. You know, a lot of people say, well, I'm in it for the technology. No, you're not. No, you're not. You want that Lambo. You want, you want financial independence, financial freedom. You can, you can be in it for both, right? Yes. It's a cool technology. We all love crypto, but let's face it. We're all here to make money. I don't give a sh I don't like Solana. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's a shitty blockchain. Sorry, Solana fanboys. Um, but I'm here to make money. Soul is one of the coins that I'm watching in this next bull run uh to, to 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 just take off again it's going to it is i hate to tell you the vc money is there they're gonna want their money back and look cardano's another one we're going into some bigger cap coins then we're taking a look at some more speculative smaller medium cap coins as well i'm gonna get into those meme coins spoiler alert peppy and kermit all right peppy and kermit have been on a run there's a million pepes and there's a million kermits but there's a couple specific ones we're gonna show you i'm gonna show you me and the mouse in my pocket right so cardano you can find your descending wedge just like you can on all the other coins right boom boom cardano has broken out cardano did retest it it looks like right right well it came close didn't quite retest it but cardano let's take a measured move right so measure move in the short term breakout oops control z so short term you're looking at about a 0.55 0.55 ADA, right? But let's talk about making new all-time highs because we know we're all, we're going to be making all-time highs on most of these coins, right? So we'll find the one that's going to set you up to be most profitable. Um, I would not consider Cardano a speculative play. Look, 727% to the top of the market. That's a safe, that's like a blue chip, I would call it crypto, right? Um, your portfolio should be mostly blue chips. Uh, it should not be mostly speculative plays dogecoin so otherwise you're just doing it wrong right dog coins i should say not specifically dogecoin but just you know elon come rocket should not be 20 percent of your portfolio it just shouldn't be you're doing it wrong if if it is right i hate to tell you um but cardano looking like another one short-term break up to about 0.555 like i said and we're getting there i mean we're at 0.443 right now so potential short-term uptrend, you know, Bitcoin starts taking off. Yeah, we're 3260 right now. 31900, 3200 is pre-programmed into Bitcoin. Once we start doing that, we're probably going to hit this. You know, it's a 20, 24, 25% increase there. You got to start playing these. You got to start playing these alts, thinking about playing these alts anyways. And you always do your own research. Medics, another one, right? Breakout about the same time, the total market cap, just about. Retest it, bounce off it again. Medix is going to explode. Um, I mean, Polygon is on fire, right? Reddit NFTs are on fire. Um, all these different companies and, and uh, people who have partnered with Polygon, right? So we have a triple top possibility here at about, uh, about $3, we'll say, right? So to the bottom of this, kind of where we're at now, about a 60% increase to the top. And, and like I said, Matic, kind of a newer-ish coin. I mean... Started on this chart May of uh, really 2019-ish, right? Didn't really kind of take off too much. And then had that just news after news after news of all these partnerships kind of skyrocketed. You know, a little bit of a downturn, but didn't get hit as hard as some of these other coins did. Um, hard to TA this one just because it's kind of been just hovering at the top up here. But Manic is another one I'm expecting to reach just completely new heights in this bull market. Another one to kind of just kind of pay attention to and watch. Another blue chip, another solid play, another one to add to your bag. Um, you know, it's hard to speculate. You know, do we, if we're making steps here, right? If we're making steps, and this is logarithmic, so it's scaled. You know, if we're making steps, 
That's a little out of the question. <laughs> Is it though? $177 Matic? Uh, I don't know about that. That would be insane. That would be like trillions of dollars of market cap. But you get the picture. I mean, this thing is going to go parabolic at some point, and it's it's going to just do an up only. I'm I, I'm I love Matic. Matic's a buy for me. So blue chip wise, the top 20, 30 coins. You know, with a few exceptions, like um, I, I know I'm going to piss some people off here, but like Litecoin, um, Bitcoin Cash. I think those are going to be overtaken and surpassed by some of these other up and comers, right? But I think you see what I'm doing with these blue chips. We're gonna move on to some more medium and lower cap coins and then the speculative meme coins here. Cause I think you understand what I'm what I'm saying here is we are gonna take off. We are gonna be in an alt season. Um, stack your bags, stack, stack your hodl bags. Number one, on hardware wallets, get it off exchanges, self custody your own coins. Number two, most of your portfolio, really Bitcoin, Ether, round it off in the middle with some some strong solid blue chips like we we have talked about here really if we go back here let's resort it uh actually let me just redo it here really i mean any of these top coins that you're seeing here chain link uh you know any 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 of these really in the top 50 i would consider blue chips some winners some losers in there chart them out just like i i am here seeing if you're seeing the same type of patterns that I'm seeing here. I mean, even on Matic, right? You have your shoulder, head, shoulder. I mean, this thing is gonna pump, right? Even if we took a measure move, uh, I'm just quickly doing this, right? Do your own TA, but you take your measured move, something like that. Again, it coincides with the previous one that we did, uh, just about anyways. I mean, about a $5 Matic-ish potential for the next bull run. It's not out of the question. It, it really isn't. I mean, Matic is another one that's going to explode. And again, that is a four or 500% increase. Boom. So my point is stack your bags, be smart about it. Don't be that guy who, who's just throwing darts at a dartboard with, with, uh, you know, different dog coins and, and meme coins. Yeah, you can have some. I mean, I'm, I'm not against it. You can have a little bit, but not much. It should be speculative, small plays. You should really be in these stronger, more solid assets because you're, you're seeing the type of pumps we're going to get. 1,600, 1,700, uh, 600, 500%. You should be happy with that. Be happy with that. Don't get overly greedy because you're going to lose. So I'm going to show you how easy this is. So I'm going to, this is just for filling your bags, finding plays. I'm sorting by market cap, right? So yeah, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just going to scroll down. I'm going to load more a few times and I'm just going to click a random one, right? So let's just do right here, scale. No idea what it is. So SKL, let's pull it up. SKL, USDT Tether. Sure, let's do that. And let's take a look at how we analyze scale. So scale came out uh, December of 2020. So about the same time Matic did. Um, it's market cap. You always got to know this stuff. Uh, I guess I can go back here. SKL market cap. Market cap 333 million. It's kind of that middle of the road. Uh, you know, middle to high market cap coin here. Um, again, I have no idea what scale is. I don't I have no idea what it is. I don't care what it is. <laughs> I really don't. You find your channels. You find the trend that it's in. I mean, look at, I mean, just boom, 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 right? Descending wedge broke up about the same time total market cap does. So to make back to its all time high, what are we doing? How much are we doing from where we're currently at? 600% uh, to the top of this channel here to the breakout point. Otherwise, new all time high 2500% on scale. You know, so once you start getting down here, you know, you should have the majority, really 50, 60% of your portfolio in Bitcoin and ETH. This is me, what I do. Um, you know, do. 30, 40% in these kind of mid cap coins and then do whatever you want with the rest, right? Um, to be honest, I don't really do meme coins or super low market cap coins. That's not where I make my money. 
Uh, but do you? But look, I mean, we found a possible 2,500% market cap um, coin. Now, if I was going to sit and hold this for a while, I would probably research it and do my due, due diligence a little bit more. Uh, just see what kind of momentum this coin has behind it. Again, I have no idea what it is. I was just kind of proving a point here to try to find some breakouts, to try to find some new highs, take a measure, move, see if it's a coin that I want to get in. Because you start looking through some of these, and if you see well, we only need 50 or 60% to make a new all-time high, it's probably a newer coin, speculative, stuff like that. So what else am I seeing here for maybe even a little bit of a more of a short-term pumpage, right? So you have... You know, if we really drawn a bigger one, shoulder, head, shoulder forming, you take your measured move, right? You can take this a lot of different ways, but this is how I personally like to take it. Just a big head, you know, shorter term on scale, looking at coming up another 200%, you know, I mean, that's just TA. I mean, you got multiple confluences here. You can take a look at confluence here. All right, daily time frame. You know, you had your bull divs here, but you can see, um, you know, we are RSI has crossed over big time on the stochastics. Turn white, like we talked about earlier in the video. A little bit of a downturn today, but I bet you this kind of comes down a little bit. All right, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> Remind me in, in a week type of deal, right? They come down a little bit print a green dot or the next day, two, three days, whatever. We're going to make a new high. We're going to have a bullish divergence here. And this sucker's going to rip. This sucker's going to rip, right? I mean, we're going to get uh, that big measured move out of the shoulder, head and shoulders, 200%. Again, this is daily chart doesn't happen in a day, but you enter into a long down here somewhere or a spot play. I keep saying long, but you know what I mean? You find a position, whatever that is, you know, uh, ETF, long, whatever, spot play, you enter it in 200%. In the shorter term, longer term, we're looking to kind of come up to uh, all of these order blocks up here, right? I mean, that is a, I was wanting to be filled, 1,500%. That's not even an all-time high. I mean, all-time high is a 3,000, 5,000%, something like that up here. I mean, let's take a measure move of that, right? I mean, this is just, this is what TA is. It's just finding new coins and being like, okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, 5,000% almost, 4,500% to make a new all-time high. And we're going to make new all-time highs on these coins. I promise you, we are. Um, again, I have no idea what scale is. I don't care. I'm in this to make money. What I'm seeing is momentum building for this coin, this particular coin, medium market cap coin. Solid plays, solid plays. You can see a lot of people are thinking the same thing I am. And this is what it is. This is all psychology, right? People are looking at, I, I know I'm making this seem simple. It really is simple. Some you, some people overcomplicate this shit. Drawing, you know, a million things, using this, using that. Find a few indicators that work for you. And I'm promising you, m the majority of people are seeing the same thing I'm seeing. Everyone else is seeing this. They're seeing the shoulder, head and shoulders. They're seeing these levels. They're seeing the volume gaps. They're seeing, you know, and then they're filling in the orders based on this. I mean, people are putting in their sell orders up here. You know, they're in plays right now and they're putting their take profits up here. There's take profits here, there's take profits here, there's take profits and shorts here. Uh, it's that simple. It really is. Let's do a couple more of these. Uh, I kind of like this, it's kind of fun a little bit. Uh, so here we go. So let's just keep scrolling down, right? Uh, let's go to page five. Fuck it, right? Let's go to Radium. I have no idea what Radium is. $54 million market cap. Let's check it out here. So once I start getting like sub 200 market caps, um, you know, you you want to be diligent with your stop losses. You, you want to kind of babysit these a little bit more because they tend to get a little bit more volatile. Not much. I mean, 150 million is still solid. So Ray, let's pull up Ray. Ray, Tether, boom, Binance. There we go. Ooh, baby. I mean, that is just, I have no idea what Ray is, but I'll tell you right now, I mean, this is just a giant descending wedge, right? When did this come out? 2021. So, woof. I mean, this is, uh, the sucker's going to go. 
I mean, this sucker is going to go. Penning it does. I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I, I, if I was going to make like a, a bag on this, I would definitely research it more. Uh, I mean, we're looking at to get back to the all time high. 8,000%, right? Uh, you start getting into these coins, and this is what I was talking about with that like 20% of your portfolio, these kind of more speculative plays, but not quite meme coins, still still up there, still a solid market cap. Then you want to research it more to see how much you want to put in, right? You got to do your due diligence. But 8,000 to total percent to make a new all-time high. I mean, that's going to be your measured move from where we currently are at, right? Right here, where we're currently at to there to get your measured move. You know, more shorter term potential, we could take the channel move right from the breakout. And even then, you're probably still looking at more short term, 200%, right? Uh, the bigger time frames. You can do this shit on smaller time frames too. So if, you, if you're looking, this, this works exactly the same on smaller time frames, right? You won't get the giant moves like that, but you still get decent moves. So, you know, if we come in here and you find your channels right so let's just you can see these wicks on here too so this is a volatile coin so i wouldn't even recommend trading this but you know pinched off i mean look at this i bet you this is going to be to the t look at that look at that boom we got the measure move we retraced a little bit super volatile coin probably got futures that are all over the place on it but uh i mean that, that's what ta is it's just finding these things sometimes you you know, obviously we missed this bolt, so we got to wait and see what happens. It is bull flagging out a little bit. So maybe we make that measure move again, right? Maybe we come up to here. Maybe we go up another 26% on Ray, Ray USDT, right? Super volatile though with those wicks. So be careful. I mean, these wicks on here are, if you're doing futures, right? 30% 30, 30 wicks in some cases. Um, so, you know. It'll wick your stop loss out pretty quickly. So you got to kind of pay attention to that. Uh, but you play these, right? You play these channels like this, these descending wedge channels, because this isn't a triangle. A triangle would be kind of, I guess it technically could be, right? But wedge, we're going to, we call this one. Um, and when you start getting tight into the channel like this, a breakout is imminent, up or down, right? In this case, it was up. Crypto's up. Crypto's been up. That's the way she goes. So let's do one more. And then we're going to start. I'm, I don't want to drag this video on too long. We're going to start looking at Kermit. I want to look at uh, Pepe just to kind of throw this on your guys' radar. Also, just real quick before we do that, you got to find confluence in these traits. I know I'm making this seem simple, right? We're kind of back testing some of these patterns because the breakouts already happened. So if you're currently in the trade, you want to use other indicators. You want to check out where the premium, the equilibrium, the discount zones are. You want to check out where the order blocks are. You want to check out Cypher B, the, the moving averages. You want to you know, get confluence for your trades as we talked about in the previous TA video um, you know, before entering into a position. So when you're first just looking, the first thing I do is I just try to recognize patterns, see where we're at. And then if I'm looking to take a position in that coin, that's where I go to the next step, right? So let's do one more, right? Let's go to a little bit of even a smaller market cap coin. So let's go to like page uh, 10, right? Do one more, then I'm gonna take a look at those uh, Pepe and <laughs> Kermit meme tokens right actually let's just grab one of these let's grab a guild of guardians no idea what it is what is the gog sounds like some kind of game or something guild of guardians tether what do we see here i don't really see much here man this is probably a shit coin. Well, there we go. Bigger moves, right? This is probably one of those like Moon Carl games, like shitty games. So I'd probably stay away from this one. <laughs> but um, again, before I took a play on this, I would do my due diligence because it's done nothing but go down since it was released. <sighs> Let's just see what it is. Guild of Guardians. Guild of Guardians. Probably some shit game. Guild of Guardians, play to earn. That's got to be it right there. Spearheading the next frontier of gaming. And their site doesn't even fucking work. There we go. It takes two hours to load the fucking website. Um, Pre-register, a little mobile dungeon. Kind of cool, actually. A little dungeon crawler. 
Epic Fantasy play. Players spend 100 billion each year on in-game items, which they truly don't own. I don't want to dig into what this is, but um, I mean, kind of cool, right? Little cool, fun game, maybe for a mobile game. Uh, I'd look into it more, but is, is the point there? So I don't know if this thing took off, which man, these mobile game things are a dime a dime a dozen right now. Or they get the hype, they get some influencer to pump them up, and then they kind of tank. But, you know, to make a new all-time high, to get back to where the coin opened at, 3,000%, new all-time high, 5,400%. But, man, I, all these mobile games, and show me one that hasn't done this that I've seen has just done nothing but tank. I mean, I would stay far away from any mobile games right now. And, and Metaverse and all that shit. Um Man, until we start seeing triple A's and big studios get behind some of this stuff and have an actual success, or there has has there been a success yet? There hasn't been. There hasn't been a, a sandbox, man. All that shit, nobody plays. No one's using it. It was cool for Snoop Dogg to drop all that money on it and lose it, sure. But we need to see some winners come out of this. So, I mean, if we did the same TA and this bounced up again, you're looking at a huge play. But I wouldn't. I mean, if, if anything, I think this thing is going the other way. Um, I mean, we're, we're going to come down and make some new lows on this guy. That's just my thoughts, just based on what it is. But let's look at some, some meme coins and, um, some, a couple new meme coins that came out and we'll probably end it there. This is what I was alluding to with the moon car. This is a coin that he shilled. You can see it got released. It pumped. Everyone dumped, right? He dumped. I'm guarantee you he dumped on it. Um, so the, all these game tokens, they get some shitty influencer with his mouth like this on every thumbnail, right? Every thumbnail, or every fucking thumbnail, and then they just lose their money. Everyone, everyone buys in for whatever reason because these are brain dead idiots in the crypto space. Apparently, who can't do their own due diligence, who can't fucking figure shit out for themselves. So they need some fucking idiot to to tell them to buy some shit coin, and then they get dumped on like this. And that's exactly what happened, right? Go look at his profile. But that this that's all I was saying. So I promise you, Kermit, Pepe, no. So Kermit and Pepe. Oh boy. So, you know, you got to make sure that your token contract is right. Cause there's a bunch of both of these coins. So, uh, I will, if I remember, I'm going to link it down below. Right. But if not, there it is, right. Pause the screen. That's the, that's the one you want to look at, but here's, here's my point. So these are starting the trend on Twitter. Um, you know, you can see this is dextools.io. You can get a deep dive into the, these projects. It's, you know, mostly on like Uniswap and things like that right now. So this is Kermit to wrap teeth. Um, I mean, this thing got released, uh, a couple days ago. I mean, it's a newer coin, right? And it's been trending. It's been going wild. We are up 15,000%, something like that. Uh, small market cap coin. Uh, where is this volume 3.28 million, uh, volumes, obviously up over the last 24 hours. We are up as far as price over the last 24 hours. Um, total market cap, 2 million, not much, right? Started just a couple days ago, but my, my point is you start seeing these things trend on Twitter. Can you do a little, throw a little hundred bucks at it and get a 10,000% increase or something stupid like that? Maybe, uh, it's gambling, hundred percent gambling. But uh, if we take a look at Twitter, all the mentions, uh, Santiment, which is a site that I've gone over in the TA channel, which analyzes what's trending on crypto Twitter. Uh, Kermit is trending. So is Pepe. Um, so we're going to take a look at Pepe now. Pepe. Pepe wrapped ETH. So volume, right? Right there. Actually, there's a bunch of Pepe. So I here again, I know it's all the same one. Boom, boom, boom. Uniswap. Right. About the same time. 14th of April. Pepe has a little bit of a, high, a higher uh, market cap, I believe. Mark, total market cap. 62 million already. Holy shit. This thing is blowing up, guys. <laughs> um, and, You know, just from the start to now. A whole shitload of percent. I mean, it's off the charts, right? So two coins I want to throw you onto. Pepe, Dextools.io. You can check them out for yourself. Kermit, 
I'm not telling you to buy these. These are very speculative. These are anything could happen. You can get dumped on by some whale and the whole thing can come crashing down. So don't mortgage the house. If you want to gamble, throw 50 bucks, 100 bucks at it, just sit on it, right? On Uniswap, you can buy it on. But dextools.io, you can see it, buy it, connect your wallet, all that fun stuff. You can see people buying and selling here. Um, I'm not going to sit here and speculate. Low market cap. Uh, Kermit, more than Pepe, right? Pepe is already up to $62 million market cap. Can go up for sure. Can go up. Don't believe me. Just search them on Twitter. Just type in dollar sign Pepe dollar sign. Uh, let's do it. Right. Dollar sign. Dollar sign Pepe. I tweeted this when Pepe was still a $1 million market cap. Oh, boom, 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 boom. So I'll just. You can see, you can get people sentiment. Do all this before you invest in anything, right? You have your, your contract addresses here, how to buy. I mean, you get people talking about it. And then Kermit too, right? I'm not going to go through all this. I mean, we're already almost approaching a freaking hour on this video. So I want to wrap it up here. You kind of get the picture. A um, couple days on Kermit. Kermit's another one that's coming up. These things are going to come down at some point as people take profits. So just... Do your due diligence, check it out. It's dollar sign Kermit, dollar sign Pepe on Twitter, dextools.io, check them out. Wanted to throw you guys onto these. Um, that's it. Appreciate you guys for watching. You stuck with me this long. <laughs> Let me know down below if you did. Made it to this part. Let me know. That's it. That's what I got for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of just run you through a couple altcoins. You can see just going through a few altcoins, Bitcoin and rambling, we're already, you know, Almost at 40 minutes. Almost at 40 minutes on the damn video. So love you guys. Appreciate you. I'll be in Discord all day as I always. Hop in. Links are down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Trade on MEXC Global. Lowest fees in the industry. Scan the QR code on your screen or link in the description below to receive an extra 10% off and $1,000 beginner reward. Later, guys. They said that I couldn't do it, so I went and did it. W's only, you know I've been winning. Top of the world, the globe is spinning. Spinning. You know, you know, I've been on a what mission? Mission. Go. Okay, let's get it.